Hey guys, welcome to my birthday glow up video. Before we get into this video, I basically accidentally lost the first part of my nail glow up. So here are the results and let's jump right into it. My nails are officially done. I actually cut them myself today. I cut them kind of short, but my mom was still able to do French. I normally just get the basic French because I think it's super classy and elegant. I also did my toes. I didn't paint them, but I needed a deep clean because my toes were so gross. And I literally just washed them. And my mom did like a whole pedicure thing, so that was super nice and super good. Phase one of the glow up is complete. I will see you guys for phase two. Step two to this glow up is actually sounding kind of painful. I'm about to get waxed. I hate waxing. I normally do shaving, but shaving is so annoying because I feel like it grows out so fast. I don't know. I just need a longer method of like dealing with hair. I'm gonna go get this done with. <laughs> I'm a clean, shaven woman. That was not as bad as I thought it would be. If you are scared to go and actually do waxing or any like, I guess, beauty treatment, make sure to do your research before. I was blessed enough to have my aunt, who is a nail slash salon tech, who went to esthetician school, know how to do this stuff. So I just kind of get it done at home. But I know it can be a little bit intimidating going in to do it. Again, it's like two or three seconds of pain, rip like a band-aid, and you're good. So we are done with step two. Next off is the hair. I finished. Here's my stylist, Hi. Anna. She did so good. It looks so cute. Hair is done. I'm obviously in my PJs real and raw here not even dressed up because it's the middle of the night and it's been a long day let me tell you how this morning went i knew that the salon that i was going to was far away from my house so i blocked out about an hour to drive up there and it was the most stressful time of my life there was so much traffic going in and up to atlanta and through alfreda i thought i was gonna be late i've never been so stressed in my life but i got here because the navigation told me that there was like 30 minutes of traffic here, 30 minutes of traffic up in Atlanta, and I was so stressed. Obviously, when you go late to an appointment, they normally charge you and you can't cancel the day of. So I was like, ah, what am I gonna do? And I know it's not like the biggest problem in the world, and I feel so spoiled for saying, oh my gosh, I was stressed about a hair appointment, but I really was. Thank goodness, because I sat in the car and I prayed this prayer. I was like, Lord, please, please, please clear up the traffic and kid you not prayer is so powerful the lord heard me cleared up all the traffic and i made it in time to my hair appointment and here she is the mane is actually so beautiful it's funny because i say the mane because they call it the salty mane and they really fix up your hair and i just feel so confident and just so beautiful blonde is just my color and i think i'm in my blonde era too step three is officially done I have one more step left let's do it hey guys so i couldn't record in live because my family was there and it was so loud but here's me doing my makeup look for my birthday i started off with the rare beauty tinted moisturizer and then i always layer it with the neutrogena foundation on top just to give my skin a little bit more coverage because i have been dealing with some skin issues lately i love these combination of products it makes my skin feel so soft so smooth Next up is my concealer. I use the NARS Creamy Concealer. It's a powdery, I don't know, liquidy combination. I just use this to cover up any other blemishes and then I go in with the Clinique powder. This just really sets my face and dries it and just helps the makeup settle in. Then on top of that, I use the Rare Beauty blush. I use the shade Joy. I really love the shade and how happy and summery it is and it blends to my skin perfectly. I only use a tiny bit just because this stuff goes a long way. If you use too much, your skin is going to be pigmented. You're gonna have to blend it out again, but I like to go in with my fingers and just blend it out and just really blend it into the makeup look. 
And then lastly is my mascara. I live for this stuff. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. It's not waterproof, which is the only thing I don't like about it, but it still does the job. And then to top it off, lip gloss from Clinique. My hair always is styled the same way just because this is the only way I know how to style it. I use the Chi or Kai curling wand and all I do is I just kind of hold out a couple strands and then bend it inwards. If you can tell by what I'm doing, it's really hard, I think, to explain or do on someone else because I've just been doing it only on myself. But the curls come out as loose beach wave curls and they're absolutely beautiful. And it's always this natural looking glow and effect for my look and my face and I love it. It's finally my birthday and we just went out to eat and celebrate at Fleming's. It was a good restaurant, it's so fun. Except for the part where I forgot my wallet there, which was really scary. But I wanted to close out this video by talking about my glow up and my confidence. So obviously I did all the things, I put on makeup and then I also did my hair and then I'm like dressed up here. Is he fit? It's a stress and got my Puma sneakers. All in all, I feel great. I am literally a new woman, I guess you could say. I did the whole hair thing. I did my makeup, put on pretty clothes. What I've learned from this and something that's been on my heart that I wanted to share is you can do all the things, right? You can get your hair done, you can get your makeup done, you can wear jewelry, like right here. <laughs> you can wear like the cutest dress. Like, at the beginning of this video, I felt like trash. And I was like, I need to change so much about me to feel confident. And yes, I do feel confident. I feel a lot more like me. And I feel like change is good. But I will say, at the end of the day, Confidence comes from within and also confidence comes from the Lord. And I fully tell you that I could have got my hair done. I could have, you know, dressed up and I could have put on all the jewelry and all the makeup that I wanted. And yes, those are all changes. But if I don't find it in my heart to like find confidence in myself and also find my confidence through the Lord, then I'm never gonna fully feel that. And so I don't know, I just wanted to close this video off with really inspiring you guys to trust in the Lord and trust in yourself and believing in yourself and a good glow up is great and doing all the things like dyeing your hair, putting on makeup obviously puts you together and helps you to feel more confident but again, you find that confidence in yourself and that confidence is not just temporary. If you strip the makeup off, you the hair grows out or even like you know, you don't have fancy clothes or whatever it is, you still have yourself and you still have the Lord with you. And that's really all that matters. And you can still have confidence and just love and just passion without all those worldly things. But with that being said, I wanted to say thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna end the video here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.